Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle. Good morning, I'm Double T, and it's Backstage Pass, an inside look at the concert Woo-hoo. industry with Don Kromberg from Nightlight Promotions. You always share good stories with me. What kind of fun or interesting story do you have to share with me today? So today's flashback is the one and only Alice Cooper, 2017, and I had a show up in Appleton, Wisconsin. I think it was June 17th. I made an overture to his management company, and they were like, hey, Don, you know what? If you can set up the golf course, we're going to make it happen for you. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is going to be a piece of cake. I'll get it set up at a private country club. I know people up there. And long story short, it was either on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. I'm forgetting the day of the week. But that particular day of the week, the country clubs are only open to women. It is a rule. It is written in stone, basically. You're not getting out if you're a man until all the women have utilized their tea times at the club that day. Well, that wouldn't work for me because Alice demands to play at the crack of dawn and be done by like 10 o'clock in the morning. We're wrapping up around a golf. So I had to make a bunch of calls. We finally found a club. The board reached out to the women's organization and they basically took a quick internal vote whether they would allow Alice Cooper and his guests to play. Well, fortunately, they did. He walks in, basically looks at me and is like, hi guys, ready to go? So we head to the first tee box. He wastes absolutely no time. He grabs his ball. He decides he's the first one off the tee. No practice swings. Guy launches one 250 yards right down the middle. (laughs) I get up. I am nervous as hell. (laughs) I'm shaking in my boots. And I hit a straight ball, but it was higher than it was far. It (laughs) it literally went about 200 yards high and 125 yards out, right into the middle. It flunks itself down in the middle of the fairway. And he kind of just looks at me, definitely the worst shot off the tee. We scramble to keep up with Alice. He's a really fast golfer. He doesn't actually wait for you when he gets up onto the green. He just goes. You kind of have to watch out for Alice when you're playing because he's playing basically his own version of speed golf. I end up, believe it or not, bogeying the hole, as does my partner. I think Alice parred the hole. But all of a sudden, before we head over to the second tee, Alice goes, gentlemen, over here. He's literally got this scolding voice. And I'm like, oh, no. What, what did he do? And he's about three feet away from us. And he goes, gentlemen, rule number one, when you play a round of golf with Alice Cooper, everyone pars the first hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's Backstage Pass, an inside look at the concert industry with Don Kromberg from Nightlight Promotions. That first hole ended up setting the tone for what, to this date, is the most memorable round of golf I played. I immediately loosened up. We talked about literally nothing other than golf. We talked about his favorite golfers. We talked about some of his recent playing experiences. I'm playing like a little kitty game compared to the game that that guy brings out to the golf course. What I found was that one, he was loose as a goose out on the course. He hits a wonderfully straight shot. He's got great irons, got a great short game. So everything that I heard about Alice being a great golfer was 100% true. He turned to me at one point and I was nervous. I shanked one off the tee and he goes, you know what, man, grab another ball. And I'm like, really? He goes, hey, listen, I'm playing my game. You're playing yours. We're not on the same team. So go for it. I want you to have fun today. Every time you come out to the golf course, it should be a fun experience. And literally the entire day was fun. We laughed. We joked. He was very encouraging. He actually gave me a couple pointers. He had to go. As a matter of fact, he left us on the 17th hole. Well, we approached the 17th green and there was this like uh, storage shed off to the left hand side. All of a sudden, out of nowhere comes this belting schools out for ever through this really loud speaker system and it turned out to be all the employees from the golf course the maintenance guys were at the shed waiting for us thinking of course that alice cooper was going to be joining us there were like 20 guys out there rocking out in the parking lot they see us i basically flag them i'm like guys alice has left the building and they're like oh get out of (laughs) here it's backstage pass an inside look at the concert industry with don kromberg from nightlight promotions Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle.